I'm back. You're listening to Nadine and Knight on National Lampoon Comedy Radio XM 154. Back for the second hour, I have Jordan Murphy, host of VH1's Tool Academy. Basically, it is a douchebag boot camp, 30 days. And, uh, and Jordan, uh, like before we start talking about the show, I want to know, have you ever had any douchebag friends in your life that you've had to confront? Oh, God, that, I feel suddenly put on the spot. Sorry. Uh, you just one of those things where you go, like, you go, hmm, do I have any douchebag friends that I, I needed to put on? Or have you ever done anything if you don't know, If you don't have one, then yeah. you're probably the one. Right. You know, like right, if, you're right. not, if you don't know any tools, then you're the tool. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I think I just kind of chose to stay away from the douchebags. Yeah, the tools that I knew, I just kind of distanced myself from. It's like, I'm not a real big Jaeger bomb guy. Yeah. It just doesn't. <laughs> and I, I, you know, the whole... I'm just looking around making sure there's no crooked hats on oh, here today. Oh, what is that? What is with the crooked hats? I don't know, but they deserve a slap. And I know I'm going to get in trouble oh for that. Someone's going to get pissed it at me. Oh, my God. It drives me crazy. And you're, wait, can I see your hands really quick? Okay, good. No thumb rings. <laughs> thumb rings. <laughs> Sorry, I think Wes, our producer, wears a thumb ring. Okay. He, he's not a douche, though. Wait, he's wait, not you know, a douche. I'm going to qualify. I'm gonna, let's qualify this for a second. Let's qualify this. Now, okay, he has a thumb ring. Now, it's, I think it's a number of different elements combined in right. one human. Now, obviously, the attitude <laughs> the attitude has to be, That's has to be terrible. That's number one. They have to treat their w- women like doormats and mm-hmm. actually probably think they're prettier than their girlfriend. And especially, if you like... If you see a guy like giving his girlfriend a hug and checking himself in out the, in the mirror, in the mirror, or like right above, or uh, or uh, like a reflection. Yep. Yep. Do you or, know uh, how many times Lincoln? you see that in L.A.? Do no. you know how many? It's like every other person. A little alarm that. should go off. Yeah. <laughs> douchebag. Douchebag. Exactly. Douchebag. So then, as far as the attire is concerned, crooked hat, uh-huh. over tanned, mm-hmm. tribal tats. Tribal tats. Right. Yes. Uh, now. Uh, let's say uh, jeans that are too torn in too uh-huh. many places, two hundred dollar t shirts that are too tight, and all of this is worn in one night. Yeah, simultaneously with a thumb ring. Equals tool. Yeah, equals tool. <laughs> Here's the thing though, like I would say maybe five no, six years ago, I had a friend that was really he was cool. He wasn't a douchebag at all. He started wearing his hair cricket or his hair, his hat <laughs> cricket, his hair <laughs> look his two pants little cricket. What are you saying about my hair? No, it was just this way. It's okay. um, it was a swoop. Um, no, he wore his hat a little crooked before anyone else did. And I was like, hey, that's really cute. And then everyone started doing that. Yeah. I'm all, oh, D'Angelo, you can't do that anymore. He's like, no, 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 I know, I know. And then everybody. Yep. And then now girls do it yeah, because yeah, yeah. they think. And then, oh, and they wear um, they wear a, a wristband on their forearm. Yes, what is that? I, I, is it I because don't. it's closer to pat your forehead with when you're sweating? Yeah. Or <laughs> I, Yeah. The, the whole wristband thing is another, I think, ornament that I think belongs on the basketball or tennis court but right. I, I, you know maybe it's I just don't have any style band. maybe it's I don't have style. Yeah, maybe I don't have style I don't know but yeah the crooked hat thing I don't I don't get I don't think it looks good and but there are plenty who do because I mean look at the girlfriends on the show right. all those guys well not all of them but most of the guys on the show wear the crooked hat it's gross it's so gross and then it looks so forced too and then their bill is so perfectly you know they spent like hours just trying to round out that bill to make it totally and perfect. then you know what happened you know how bummed out they were when everybody started wearing the bills flat <laughs> they're like dude does anybody have a flattener so <laughs> I'm gonna iron my hat dude bro dude bro bro dude bro bro dude bro that's another one bro dude bro bro, bro dude dude dude, dude yeah. bro and bro. you call your girlfriend dude and bro <laughs> you deserve a severe beating for that Wait, how many? Okay, so, so it happens. It happens. So how many people walked in uh, out of the nine contestants? Because you had, did you get to see a profile of these people before they walked in? No. So you were like first time here. Yeah, it is. yeah. They all walked in. How many of them? Most of them had cricket hats on, did they not? You know, when they jumped off the bus because they get off this party bus at the and they're wasted, estate, right? They were not sober, uh. and they come just barreling out of the bus and. It was literally just this like cacophony of like yelling and rooster crowing and you know just flexing and and I believe there were hat there there were crooked hats crooked involved. Hats. Uh, but not a lot. Is it? Th- do I think thumb rings are douchey or are they douchey? Is it just? I, like- I personally don't wear a thumb ring, mm-hmm. so I, I I don't know. Right. Um, you know I don't know. But I don't. Um, you're one of your producer well, friends. Well, I like him a lot, and he's actually the only, like I've never told him that I don't like his thumb ring. And but I'm he really only st- has the thumb ring. He's not the whole combination is subtle. I think it. You know. Right. You know what I mean? His, <laughs> his hats. His hats straight. His shirt's not too good. Too. Uh, but now we're profiling our. I'll show you this. Uh, our producer, yeah. So <laughs> Jordan's wearing a Tool Academy T-shirt, and yeah. on the back of it, it I'll says it "Faculty." <laughs> there you go. Did you have a hand in picking, like eliminating some of these people? 
I'd like to say yes, but no. No, I just got to tell them they were a tool. In or out. I said, you know, every single week I got to look them in the eye and say, I'm sorry you're not Mr. Awesome, you're just a tool. (laughs) So what was their first reaction? I've I've seen most of the first episode. What was their first reaction uh, for everyone else who hasn't seen it yet? When you tell them, uh, hey, dude, you're not here for Mr. Awesome. It, It, well, without giving it too much away... Let's just say that there was there was complete shock. I had some concern about the fact that you know I'm six two. I'm not a sh- short, small guy. Yeah. But these guys are all like just got out of the gym and are six feet easy. And I thought if one of them gets pissed off, someone could throw some punches. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm there. I'm the because, guy standing there. Right. And and then there's just cameras. And then VH1 loves. God right. bless them. That's why we watch it. Beat it's, up the host. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, it, it becomes Jerry Springer sometimes. After the Sharon Osbourne thing a couple weeks ago, right, amazing. Right. Poured the drink on her. I'm like, go Sharon. And that they love amazing. that. They eat they it up. It. They love now, it. There is security measures in place. However, they were, comp- they were, I think, so shocked that they didn't know what to do with themselves. Because, right. I mean, when you see the episode on Sunday night, the way we set them up mm-hmm. is genius. Wh- tell me everything. I you can't, can't, you can't tell, tell you everything. Ah! It's that, that's that's the beauty of it. I mean, I'll come back on. and We'll talk about it. Okay, right time. after the first episode. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good. I mean, no, it is so much. It is, it's so the, much fun, and just to set them up and to let's just say we didn't take our clueless. time. They're They don't know. They well, they think they're going to be competing for Mister Awesome. Oh my God! Now let's talk about some of. We have to start cut to a break pretty soon, but I want to start off by talking about some of the challenges. Yeah, every week. Yeah, every episode. Um, the couples work together to see if they can improve upon certain areas of their, you know, relationship. And obviously, right. most people's relationships survive and thrive on trust and maturity and communication and um, humility, things right. like that. Right. And so, those were kind of the the milestones, uh, amongst others. I'm probably forgetting. Anyway, they had certain challenges that correlated with those that were. Um, uh, they had like a build a bed together, but it's complicated and there's right. twists to it. Right. And they did do obstacle courses, but there's twists to it. And so they had to do certain challenges to just determine whether or not they could work together as a team under heightened circumstances. Here's the thing. A lot of those guys, too, are so insecure, and that's why they are they are the way they are, mm-hmm. the douchiness. And mm-hmm. so, like, you have to break them down so much yeah. for them to go, to, you know, like, here I am. Yeah. Because that's, that's just their mask. You know what I mean? Like, I was teased as a kid, so I became a comedian because that was my easiest mask. You sure, know what I mean? Sure. And it was like, it, it was, oh, what do you mean I'm insecure? Like, we're all insecure, and we all do things to mask ourselves. So They wear crooked hats. Yeah. You're funny. I'm funny. There you go. I, I would choose mine, I hope. I Thank would, you. too. Yeah. <laughs> you host. Is that yeah, your mask? Yeah. Right. All <laughs> right. Exactly. One of them. <laughs> so funny. I have a neighbor who's a host, and uh, I think you guys might have the same agent. I'm not sure. And he lives across the the um, like the hallway, so we hear every like we always make fun of each other. Mm-hmm. And I go, "We're on some business calls today." He go, "Hey, buddy, yeah, it's me." And he gets his host voice on, and we laugh really, really hard. Got it. <laughs> yeah. There is there is, seems to be a there seems to be my voice on the commercials is not my voice. I mean, if you listen to me right now, that's not yeah, my it's, voice. It's you, <laughs> you know exactly. We're saving relationships one tool at a time. And I'm like, <laughs> really? I have to do it like that? Yes, it's Jordan, your job. do it like it's that. Fine. It's your job. Yeah, yeah. fine. <laughs> it's better than laying tile. Absolutely. <laughs> so what it's called? Laying tile? Yeah. Cable. Cable, whatever. Tile. <laughs> so in the next break, uh, or in the next segment, I'm going to talk about some of the challenges you put them through. Uh, but Jordan, uh, besides VH1.com, do you also have a website that you want to plug or anything like that? No. Or? Okay, no. <laughs> there you go. VH1.com, Tool Academy, this Sunday, 10 o'clock. PM Eastern and Pacific time. It's hilarious. The nine douches get introduced uh, and going through basically a thirty day douchebag boot camp. Yes, Tool Academy. Do. Tool Academy. Tool Academy. I'll be right back, Nadine at night. National Lampoon Comedy Radio XM one fifty four.